Hello, I'm Brian Hale with the Harvest USA Report, sitting in for Howard. I'll be back with a report from Minnesota right after this. But first, let's hear from our Canadian correspondent, David Woodruff. Well, on the 25th of March, the last weekend in March, we we're going to have a cowboy poetry and western music gathering, Tabor, Alberta, at the Tabor Community Center. We also are doing a benefit for a young cowboy that sustained spinal column damage in a bronc wreck over the Christmas holidays. That was Canadian David Woodruff reminding us of the March 25th Cowboy Poetry Gathering in Alberta, Canada. The National Ag Safety Awareness Program Week was March 6th through the 10th. However, Megan Shasso, Outreach Director and Center Coordinator for the Upper Midwest Agricultural Safety and Health Center, says it's always a good time to talk about safety on the farm. After all, farming comes with a lot of built-in danger. The short answer would be that it's the nature of the work. There's a lot of hazard exposure and inherent risk because of the work that's happening. Machinery is a huge one. We know that roadway incidents with machinery between regular pedestrian and farm machinery are incredibly common. For machinery, there may be livestock on the farm. So livestock can do any kind of animal interaction injuries, but they also pose a infectious disease threat. Farmers tend to work alone a lot, and that is inherently risky. And she says accidents can happen at any age. It is all age spectrums. Kids are particularly vulnerable as well. Again, that was Megan Shasso, Outreach Director and Center Coordinator for the Upper Midwest Agricultural Safety and Health Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's going to do it for the Harvest USA Report. And remember, there's more on the web at harvestusareport.com. Thanks again for listening, and may God bless. I'm Brian Hale.